Unregularradio.com, Boston's best online radio. Back live to Hotheads, where activism happens. 617-606-4122 is our phone number. And uh, on the phone, we have the one and only Casey Hoy calling in from Providence, Rhode Island. She's doing the Why Walkabout right now. And you can check out uh, on the website, whywalkabout.com, which I actually have up right now. Looking at her feet, she's walked from Boston to Providence already. Hey, Casey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I actually made it through North Attleboro, and then I got a ride. So I got to start back off at Pawtucket tomorrow, or on Monday. Excellent. So, you, yeah, well, you know, Attleboro is pretty damn close to Providence. Yeah, yeah, I, I almost made it. And then uh, yesterday, I, when I took my shoes off to, um, to take a look at my feet, most of the skin on the backs of my heels went with it. So I decided it was a good idea to stop and, and heal up for a couple of days. Are you uh, so so yeah. I'm looking at your feet right now on, on your website, and it looks it looks pretty rough. I mean, how uh, how many miles? Oh, you didn't? Did Did you see the ones on Twitter? Like my foot looks like a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of my heel, and I was like, that looks like a really fucked up thumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm gonna have to look that one up because the one I'm looking at, your yeah, your 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 toes are looking pretty tough right now. How many miles have you done already? Uh, 32 uh, on the road and then probably about 40 or so wandering around in between. Um, yesterday I got a chance to actually go hang out with the cats from paul.com.com. Uh, they were doing their 300th broadcast and uh, had a link up to donate to breast cancer research and uh, they're auctioning off some cigars. So it's a really good it's a really good cause. Her, his wife actually is an oncologist. So Say, the, so, say that website again. It was uh, paul.com.com. They do a security weekly broadcast that's all about, like, Internet security and, like, how to manage uh, your security for small businesses and big business better. And they did a marathon broadcast from 10 a.m. until about 7 p.m. tomorrow yesterday, and I got a chance to, like, sit in and watch how they do their thing. It was really awesome. Where are they broadcasting out of Providence? Uh, they were broadcasting out of Johnston. Oh, cool. Can uh, you post that link up on our activism um, you know, Absolutely. group? Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, so that's that, that sounds very cool. Um you must be, uh, how many more miles do you have to go from here? Uh, 430. Wow. So 430 miles to go. Wow. Yeah, you, yeah. Are you, are you starting to get worried? Because, I mean, your feet are already looking pretty tough. You have a long way to go. Yeah, well, I mean, it's one of those things that, like, I knew it was going to happen. I knew at some point I was going to have to take, like, a couple of days yeah. to, like, heal up. I didn't expect that it was going to happen this early. But as, like, I mean, I could take it as a setback or I could take it as, like, being smart about it because if I'd gotten an infection like in the middle of Connecticut when I'm rough camping like I would have been boned yeah definitely so I mean I'd, I'd rather take a couple of days now where I'm chilling with some of my, my homies and playing some video games I get to go see the new Greenside Up store that just opened in Providence oh awesome um, yeah, yeah, they uh, they just opened their doors. I think it was yesterday, the day before. Um, so I mean, they're they're going strong, and um, I get a chance to go out to a festival party tonight and meet a couple of other local business owners. I'm getting some interviews done, so it's definitely been a good time. Wow, we're looking at uh, at Casey, the management on Twitter, and it's uh, what do they call that hashtag op walkabout? If you want to look it up on Twitter, looking at the photo. Oh my God, Casey, that is yeah. That is one well, rough looking toe. Is that the big toe? I can't even tell. That, no, no, that's my heel. Oh, that's the heel. <laughs> I was thought that was a toe. It was so like that. That bulge that's not looks a like toe, a toenail. Dude, that's my heel. That is crazy. That's, <laughs> that's a not huge a fingernail. That's yeah, a blister. That's a huge blister. Oh, wow. Now it's like one of those trick images because I thought that was a toe at first. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you go further back, I think I posted the day before. And it says first blood, and it's the inside of my sock. Yep. And it's just you see the outline of the band aid, and then just like blood all around it. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh, that that wasn't so bad. It just like the top of my heel had ripped. Wow. And then um, the next day, I started out in in uh, Plainville actually, and made the other side of Attleboro. And uh, when I stopped to take my shoes off, like I was just like, oh, that's whoa, my god. Yeah. So <laughs> like the whole like all the skin on my right foot just like flapped right off of my heel. So I slapped it back on there and like wrapped it up. <laughs> that's rough that is rough uh what uh when you you just left on uh was it tuesday uh wednesday morning wednesday morning uh how many people were there and who who were some of the people i saw some of the people from the station and they tell us about uh the send-off from boston uh send-off was really really awesome um it was sarah sparks jessica effin who's uh one of our new interns she's also a station uh fan and friends 
Uh, Matt Zappa and Max Bowen from Citywide Blackout were there. Garrett from your show was there. Um, actually, Tracy Monroe and Brian Donahue from Playground Boston oh, showed yeah. up. I love them. Uh, my friend, uh, my friend Ukumwa, uh, who's a teacher and a tribal leader, um, he showed up, gave me his blessings. Uh, my bre- my buddy Murray Altman, who just like he goes, like you want to like that guy goes way way back. Um, but like him and I used to work together back in the day, um, at this consumer electronics company and, and we've been, we've been friends for years and years and he showed up, he just randomly rode up on his bike and told me sex gets better after 60. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thanks for the advice. I'll remember that. <laughs> when I years. get there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a, I mean, I, I hope I didn't forget. Uh, Sarah Sparks was there from massbites.com. She actually walked with me all the way to Fiori's Bakery and JP. Wow. Uh, where I met up with uh, Derek and John Loftus, and we had a late breakfast, and then I trekked through Roslindale from there. Oh, well, that's great. It sounds like a, a lot so, of good a lot of good people supporting you yeah, early uh, in the morning, which is uh, very impressive. I'm impressed with all those yeah, people that showed up. At, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I, I guess t- Ted Hightide walked by at 5 to 8 o'clock, and no one was there, so he didn't stick around, which we'll miss him. I'm sorry, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's too early. He got there too early. Yeah. It, it was, well, I, actually, at 5 minutes to 8, I was getting coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly where it was. Yeah, that seems to happen a lot of... Uh, when we did Occupy Coakley, a lot of people, yeah, for some reason, went to the wrong place, and then some people were too early or too late. It's just like that always happens, unfortunately. Yeah, well, also, when you have, like, 13 things named the same thing in Boston, it's really, really hard to tell oh, yeah. exactly which thing you're talking about. That's br- that's like the a- brutality of Boston. There could be five addresses with the same address in the city of Boston. It's like, what? <laughs> like. Yep. It's ridiculous, and Google Google Maps can definitely not figure it out because it seems like their people are in California. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good I luck with I, Boston, you, California. Don't even get me started about Google Maps. They're like, oh yeah, the safest way to walk to Rhode Island is to take Route One. Yeah, I'm gonna, so, like I'm gonna have I'm gonna write a letter to Google about that. Be like, I tried your route. Yeah, and I said what? It's fucking hot and it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> like, I spent most of my time with my pants tucked into my socks, walking in the verge. <laughs> yeah, wow. So Google Maps is not uh, not helping you out. Not not get. No, not no. Google the... Maps fail. Total Google Maps <laughs> fail. Google Maps fail on dot com. Whywalkabout dot com is your website. Where are you going yes, next, sir. Casey? Where, where what's the next uh, city you're going to stop at? When? Um, next up, I'm going to be probably either going. I'm going to be starting back up above Providence, going through to East Greenwich. Um, should be able to hit that by Monday night or Tuesday morning, uh, staying with a friend out there. And then from there, I'm going to Voluntown, Connecticut, um, and then swinging back down towards Norwich. Um, and then from Norwich through the Guilford line, uh, Guilford into, like, through the Guilford line into uh, New York, and from New York through New Jersey, Pennsylvania, et cetera. Awesome. So you, you, you've got it all planned out. And uh, tell tell people... We've had you on the show in the past to talk about this, but tell people again why you are doing this. I know it's on the website uh, whywalkabout.com, dot com, but just give us a quick, you know, kind of update I, on why why you are doing this walk. There's a, there's a couple of reasons I'm doing it. I'm carrying a letter uh, to our leaders to Congress, basically talking about uh, the the prevailing question in my mind when it comes to why it is that activists do what they do is no matter what we do, there is suffering. Like, if it's the suffering of um, caused by issues with civil liberties, if it's the suffering by what we do uh, internationally, um, inherently with the way that our system is set up, it causes suffering. So I'm asking, why is it that we cause suffering and what can we do to fix it? What can we do to take responsibility? And this is a question that isn't necessarily for our leaders. It's for every person that I meet along the way. And getting a chance to, like, talk with local business owners, talk with people on the street, and, and people, who, like, they really do think like that. They, th- they know that what, they're, that what we do in our individual choices are causing issues, but nobody really thinks of it as a problem. They just know that that's the way that it is. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the goal is to raise that question as I go, to go down and, of course, to speak with local businesses and see how they're coping with the changes in economics and how they're coping with political changes and how the, there's a big tax tax spike that's supposed to come up in January federally for small businesses that's going to be causing a lot of problems for people who purchase in commodities. So, like, with with these changes that are coming up, I, I want to know what local businesses are doing to really kind of, like, deal with that. And I've been I've been getting a lot of really good information. I got a chance to, tonight, I'll be able to actually put up a big blog post with a bunch of the stuff from the people that I've talked to, so it's awesome. Awesome. And uh, it's whywalkabout.com, as I said. 
if anyone uh, wants to contact Casey about uh, meeting up in some of those towns she mentioned, or uh, if you have some activism that's going on, you that you know you you heard from Casey just now. Casey's telling us that she she's interested in hearing from business owners and the people. She wants to know what's going on. Uh, uh, it's op op walkabout at gmail.com you can send her an email i just subscribed i hadn't subscribed yet apparently to uh, whywalkabout.com you can put your email in there and get the daily updates you can also follow casey on facebook uh casey we miss you i just want to let you know that uh, we're on it's terribly, our only been a, yeah it's only been a week and and it's just not the same at the studio on regularradio.com we love having you here you you really you inspire us and inspire our show and make us go further than we, we you know we otherwise would have and i and i really appreciate it and uh i'm wondering selfishly when when you might be back when is this going to end and when when will you, will you coming back to the studio and you're going to continue to work with us um i absolutely am coming back to the studio um i i thought about it last night um i've been putting a lot of thought into it and i'm putting a cap on 30 days um if if i'm not done with this glorious thing by 30 days I gotta come back um, I have a, a lot of responsibility and a lot of things that I need to take care of in Boston and while this is very important to me like I, I can't um, I can't take away from from what I'm doing in order to like continue on a, a quixotic adventure as much as I enjoy it um, but I mean if, I, if it's looking like I'm not gonna get there inside of 30 days on foot I'll take a fucking bus drop off the letter say how you do show them my feet and roll out yeah hey that's that's you got to do what you got to do and uh you're walking every day to raise awareness and to meet people and, and i really respect what you're doing oh oh wait real quick uh you if you get a chance you gotta stop by ever so humble pie and walpole on washington street andrea is the shit man i'm not even kidding she makes the best scones on the face of the planet she's, she's the ballsiest woman on the face of the planet like she makes amazing pies you got to talk. You, like, look her up. Her name what is kind of, from uh, <laughs> Ever So Humble Pie at Walpole. Ever So Humble Pie. What kind of pies does she make? Because I'm, I'm. She I makes uh, high-end gourmet pies. Like she handed me. I, I'm so, I'm so sad. I left it on the counter there. So, like she was really busy, and I had to roll out. But it was uh, a pina colada scone. Mm. Like so, I mean, she makes these specialty pies and scones. She doesn't ship. She refuses to freeze her product because she doesn't want to like degrade how good it is. Oh yeah. So she relies entirely on like. Of word of mouth and the fact that people she knows that she's there. So if I can shout out about her, I absolutely will. Like this is a woman who stands by her principles. She's an absolutely like she's she's ballsy as fuck. She almost told me to get lost. Like <laughs> I explained what I was doing, and she was like, "All right, you're cool. Like here's a scone." <laughs> 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 she gave me like a thirty second rundown on all of the problems that she's having as a local business owner. Handed me a scone and went back to work. It was awesome. <laughs> that's great. That that's uh, very. Uh, that's what we like to hear. That's your adventures. What you're doing out there the people you're connecting with I really appreciate ever so humble pie in, in Walpole Mass in Walpole on Washington Street it's a it's a good they make it like I I've, I've, they had some up at the uh, at the consignment shop up the street and I tried a piece and actually walked out to talk to her so if you have any uh, relatives in prison down in Walpole and you're, you're in the area you can definitely stop in there right yeah, you can absolutely stop it to get some pie. I'm just figuring with our audience, you know, there could be some people out there that drive down Easter to Easter a pie, go visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you sure, could, I'm sure your audience loves pie. Yeah, you it's could stick... right off the 34E. I'm not even, like, the 34E will drop you off like a block from it. I'm not saying that you should stick a shiv, though, in the pie when you bring it to the prison. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. So keep those shivs. Yeah. So uh, th- thank you so much. And now hopefully we can uh, get another update from you next week, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll I'll hit you up on Facebook and let you know where I'm going to be, and then I'll give you a call, or I'll, I'll let you know, and we can, we can set it up. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for calling in today, Casey, and uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, we wish you the best on this walk. We know that you're going to go and push yourself as far as you can, and uh, that's the only thing I want to caution you on. Don't like as you said, don't don't uh, go too far. Limit yourself. You know, you it sounds like you have it all handled, and I and I really uh, proud of you. And we're all wishing you the best. Thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. That was Casey Hoy from UnregularRadio.com. WhyWalkAbout.com is the website. Definitely support her on Facebook. Repost her pictures. You've seen the pictures on Twitter, on Facebook. Subscribe to her blog right now, whywalkabout.com. I just put my email in there. It took me two seconds. In the middle of the interview, I subscribed to whywalkabout.com. You should do it right now. 
Uh, our telephone number is 617-606-4122. Um, we might try to reach a couple other people today. We, we, there's a lot going on. Uh, there's that Canna Fest in Portland, Maine. Jill Stein, I think, is probably speaking right about now there. Very exciting day. Lots going on. Uh, we're going to play some music and come back, and uh, who knows where we'll go from here. If you want to weigh in on the show so far, 617-606-4122. It's unregularradio.com. Two hotheads where activism happens. What do we have in the jukebox, Derek? Spiritual res with Steve got arrested and homeboy Sandman with canned goods. Unregularradio.com.